Ken Elian catching balls in the outfield, you don't always get ground balls. And really in the infield, you don't always get ground balls. So that's kind of what we worked on while we were in the infield. Fly balls are something that is very important for an outfielder to be able to catch, of course. And a lot of fly balls, remember, are caught up high. And we want to try to get those thumbs together and catch that ball with two hands up over the throwing shoulder. And we're going to work on that in just a minute. But you've got to be able to get to that ball to catch it. We talked about moving toward a ball that's in front of you. We talked about the crossover step to go to a ball to the side of you. But sometimes balls get hit over your head. And we want to take what's called a drop step. If I try to go back to my left for a ball that's over my head and I take a crossover step, that's real hard because it's such a long step. What we want to do is take a drop step, and to do that, if the ball's over my left shoulder, I simply drop back as I turn, stepping with my left foot, and then I cross over looking back for the ball as I run. You think you can do that? Uh -huh. Okay, let's try it. All right, just show me how you do it. Kind of get like you're ready, and pretend there's a ball over your left shoulder. Drop step, turn and run. Very good. All right, come back and let me throw you one, and remember to try to catch it up high, okay? Watching it as you go back. All right, it's over your left shoulder. Show me the drop step and go. All right. Very good. All right, hustle back. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. All right, now, this time when you see the ball coming down, I want you to call for it. A lot of outfielders don't call for the ball like they ought to. I want you to holler, mine, 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 okay? So we're going to do a drop step and call for it. So we're making it a little tougher for you. All right, get ready. Turn and go. There it comes. <laughs> All right, great. Good job, Neely. I like that a lot. Did a very good drop step. You stepped back with that foot on the side of the ball, and you turned and ran for it. Now, you called mine, mine, mine. A lot of coaches have their players holler, I got it, I got it. But if you think about it, how many words is I got it? Three. Three, and mine is just one. one. And you can say mine three times in the same length of time it takes you to say I got it. So we like to holler, mine, 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 so everybody out here knows who's going to catch it, and then you don't run together. The main thing we were working on was that drop step. If it's to your left side over your shoulder, you drop back with your left foot. If it's to the right side, then you'd step back with your right. right foot. Very simply done. Now, one of the things I saw that's very common with outfielders that I saw you do just then, as you were running for the ball, you used your right arm very good to run, but your left arm that had a glove on it, you weren't doing much with it. You know how when you run, you want your arms to go like this? And see, when you started running with that glove on, you forgot to use that arm to help you run. And a lot of outfielders do that. They'll tuck that arm right here, or they'll just kind of let it hang, and they'll just use that one. So what we want to do is work on how to run with your glove. So how about going over there about 15 or 20 feet and run back toward me? Hustle over there, please. Run back toward me. Whoa, that's far enough. Now run back to me and show me how you use your arm. Use that left arm. Good. That's real good. Now, in your practices at, with your coach, what I want you to do is sometimes when you're running bases, use that same thing. Take your glove to the bases when you practice base running and run bases with your glove on, and it'll help you learn how to use that glove when you're out in the outfield chasing balls, okay? okay. Good job.